Cops tend to think that they have all the authority in the world, but sometimes things go south and they are served with instant karma. Just like this ignorant cop who caused his city a massive lawsuit. I'm sorry, no, you're trespassing right now. That's why I'm asking you what you're doing. Trespassing on yes. public property that I yes. pay for? Yes. Can I have your name and badge number, please? On October 14th, 2020, Barry Dave, a First Amendment auditor, was recording as he moved through the South Padre Island Police Department's parking lot. That's when one of the officers aggressively approached him and did something Thing unthinkable. This morning she was itching all over. Uh, you can go back to work. That's what I pay you to do, isn't it? What's that? Go back to work. Sorry, no, you're trespassing right now. That's why I'm asking you what you're doing. Trespassing on yes. public property that I yes. pay for? Yes. Can I have your name and badge number, please? Yes. You can also take this Take this. Officer David Laird escalated the simple situation by approaching him and arresting him without any reason. Barry had no clue what was happening as he was on public property. Yes. You can take this. Before we find out who you are. I don't mind the lawsuit. Okay. So what is it you're doing back here? Hey guys, your phone is perfectly fine. Hey and guys, it's on uh, still. See that? go ahead and call. Uh, step Stop over here. here. We're talking to you. So step over here and tell us what you're doing back here. This is private property, and that's why we're asking you. How can a police department be private property? Do you have an ID with you. How can a police department? Do you be have an ID property? with you, sir? Ma'am, did you turn my phone off? You got a. Uh, that's a violation of my first amendment. The cops had already made several violations of his rights as Officer David went to physically move him away. The officer kept asking him questions, only making the situation worse for him. What's your full name and date of birth? What's your full name and date of birth? Can I please talk to a supervisor? What's your full name and date of birth? You guys are working on getting a lawsuit. Can you so please? listen, you're fixing to be arrested for failure to ID if you don't identify yourself. That's a secondary charge. What's the primary charge? He understands. Charge? What's the primary charge? You understand. Charge? What's the primary charge, sir? What are? What is your name and date of birth? Sir, what's the primary charge? You are being detained I'm right now. I'm not going to answer anything. If I'm detained, then I don't have to talk to you. I like, my, I like my lawyer, please. Thank you. And if I'm not detained, I'm pretty good. What is your name and date of birth, then? I like my attorney, please. Pat him down. Make sure he doesn't have any weapons on him. Officer David was on a power trip as he instructed his fellow cops to illegally search him. However, soon after, a sergeant came out alone and Officer David was about to be taken to the cleaners. He's back here walking by the units recording. He's just recording. Yeah. So, he's just detained right now. I'll cut him loose, I don't mind, but... First Amendment right, sir? Huh? Yeah, he's one, he's one of the... Resistors. You hear that? Yeah, no, that's fine with me. No sign for me from coming back here, sir. Let me go now? Yeah, we'll let you go. Appreciate Let's it. take him and walk him over there. Please make sure my phone is still on. If you turn off my phone, you'll be I'll be filing a lawsuit against you for violating my First Amendment rights. That phone Let's is take him my over. record. Cuff, can you can you please get my phone first? What do you need him? I want my phone to record this. What do you need him? That is my That's the record. You cannot interfere with my First Amendment right. Please bring my phone back. I don't know who that was. Please record them taking my cuffs off. Ma'am? Please record them taking my handcuffs off. The sergeant took no time to order his release, and Barry was now all over the tyrant officer. However, the cop had no remorse for his actions and never apologized for detaining an innocent individual. Turn that, they're gonna take you off the handcuffs. You're gonna calm the f down next time? Oh, I'm very calm. I'm always calm. You ran up and grabbed me, threw handcuffs on me. For the first amendment I don't know activity. what you're back here for. You just got yourself in a world of hey, go ahead. You don't need to know what I'm back here for. Yes. What did I do, sir? What was your reasonable, articulable suspicion that I had committed a crime, was about to commit a crime, or was or had just committed a crime? You're standing what around and walking back here recording us in our unit. Oh, so that's against the law? Recording you is against the law. Did you hear that, guys? This was officer, sorry, what's your name and badge David number? David Laird. Sorry? David Laird. Good, I'm gonna get to know it very well. Okay. You'll be listed in the lawsuit. You have that well, card for that other one? Yeah. yeah. You're still there in the front? Yeah. So we need fences back here. 
You have your card or the card? Yeah. Now they're waiting over here so I can get it to them. Officer David calmly left the scene as if nothing had happened. However, Barry was not going to calm down so easily as he kept following these cops demanding some accountability. I need the lieutenant out here or I need the chief of police out here. You guys are not just gonna walk away from this, I'm sorry. That officer fucked up big time. Where is he? Where is he or she? Sir, you look like a sergeant. Can you please come over here and talk to me? They're running away guys like a bunch of scared rats because they know they just step in it big time. Now they're just completely ignoring me. You guys are gonna pay a lot for this. The city of uh, South Padre Island is gonna have to pay for this. Who's coming out to talk to me? Who's coming out to talk to me? Who's, they're all trying to ignore me, you guys. They're all trying to ignore me. They know they just stepped in it big time. Who's coming out to talk to me, sir? What? Who's coming out to talk to me? I don't know, man. I just got here. Okay. Well, you just got here. Now you're in it, too. Name and badge number. You should have stopped that officer. I warned him. I warned him that he was fucking up. That's your badge number? Oh, no. Surprisingly, no officer came out to even have a conversation with him as they considered themselves too entitled to be held accountable. However, Barry soon decided to file a lawsuit against Officer David in the city. As of now, the lawsuit is under proceedings, but we can only hope that he gets the justice he deserves, along with a hefty compensation. However, this isn't the last time a police officer got some poetic karma. One, the camera. One. Whoa. Two. Don't show three. me. You're under arrest. Whoa. You're now under arrest. Whoa. On June 15th, 2016, a First Amendment auditor was just covering a public parking lot of the police department and municipal court in South Carolina when a police officer came over to confront him. What's your name and badge number? I'm Corporal Shrad of the Greer Police Department. How are you? All right, I'm all right. Okay. Is there any reason why you're videotaping? I'm just curious. You're not in any kind of trouble and nothing here other than we got called and told that you were walking around the parking lot. So, any particular reason for it? No, you're not going to answer. So, we're going to have to stare off because I'm recording you and you're recording me. Is that what we're going to do? Have your ID on you. Probably done anything wrong. Well, you're recording a suspicious activity, which puts this into a category of suspicious activity. This means that Terry versus Ohio, I can detain you until I can determine or deny that there's Terry, a criminal activity. Terry v. Ohio says suspicious activity is not enough for reasonable. For Reasonable call for ID. The auditor, Mr. Valentine, was well versed in the law and refused to be intimidated by the officer. He kept on filming, which was his constitutional right, and kept ignoring the officer. However, the officer wasn't alone as he was soon joined by a corporal. There's already a call on it, so yeah. So, suspicious activity, is that, is that a felony or a misdemeanor? That's a misdemeanor. No, it's not. Yes, sir. And I can't believe you just sat here and lied. Yep. Go ahead and give me your ID. All uh, right, can you call your supervisor to the scene? I am a supervisor. I need another one. Okay. I need a lieutenant or somebody else. Actually, actually, I, I, I'll go and do this type of thing. Okay. Yeah, so. I'm just curious. I mean, I mean hey. Criminal activity, there's nothing to worry about. So why are you asking for my ID then? Because you're not answering me. And when you're not answering me, how do I know you're going to come in this parking lot to come shoot it up? It's called a Fifth Amendment, right? So I can check on that if it's suspicious. And if part of that checking is to identify you. So if I get it, It's ID, suspicious. A felony or misdemeanor? Even the officers knew deep down that the auditor was right as he was making complete sense, but they didn't have the guts to accept the truth. Shortly after, a sergeant arrived and he kept escalating the matter. Hey, sir. Again. Name, badge number? Sergeant Forrester, 301. All right, how you doing? Good. How can I help you? Well, he contacted me. He wanted my ID for no reason, so I needed a supervisor to let him know that, you know, without any crime being committed, I don't have to present my ID. Well, he actually got a call on you. Well, that a, what what crime have I committed? Well, so anytime somebody calls in and reports suspicious activity, it's suspicious. He, it's suspicious of failure or misdemeanor. Uh, it's neither one, but he 
Oh, need, okay, thank you. So he said it was a misdemeanor. So now we have a comfort on which one it is. Well, these cops may have been tyrants, but this sergeant was taking things to a whole new level. We don't have a conflict at all. We have a conflict okay, with hold on, okay. acting, Whoa, sir. whoa, whoa. Taping, taping whoa. the parking lot in today's whoa. day and age. That's fine. Whoa. That's fine. You ain't got to whoa nothing. Whoa. Today, What's your name and badge number? Uh, my badge number is 201. It's whoa. Lieutenant Holcomb. Whoa. H-O-L-C-O-M-B-E. Now. Whoa. Oh, you, now you let me have an ID. This, this is an intimidation factor let me right here. Have an ID, please. What crime have an I committed? ID. An what ID. crime have I committed? An ID. What crime have an I committed? ID. You're gonna you're gonna be failure to uh, listen to a law enforcement officer ask you for an ID. What crime have you I got committed? An ID? What have crime? You got an ID? What crime have I committed? Have you got an ID? What crime have I committed? Videotaping our parking lot and walking around the police. Is that a crime? Lot. Yes, sir. Right now in the, it in is. the day and age that we're dealing with. Yes, sir. It is a crime. What crime there. have I committed today? Anytime there's a suspicious person. Is that a felony around, or a misdemeanor? It's a, let me see. Whoa, your whoa. You got, you got the count whoa. or you're going to jail. Now, the sergeant was being incredibly aggressive as he had no respect for Mr. Valentine. He kept threatening him with arrest, but the auditor was unfazed as he knew his rights very well. I see. I got Ready? one hand on the camera. One. Whoa. Two. Don't show three. me. You're under arrest. Whoa. You're now under arrest. Yes, you were. The officers proceeded to handcuff him just for filming in public and refusing to give his ID, which he was again not legally required to do so. Soon the cops took him to the back of the police cruiser and snatched his phone. However, the camera was still on and we can hear the cops in the background. Guess what? You're going to see the inside of the South Carolina jail. Oh, right here. here. There you go. Nice. Like I heard you say something. <laughs> The only reason these cops came over was because of a call. It's bizarre to think how a 911 call made by any unknown person can have you in jail while you are breaking no laws. I told them, I said, Ohio, now you're being suspicious, so I can detain you and I didn't see your ID. What crime is officer? Didn't have an idea. I'm sorry. I've got your phone. Mr. Valentine was then taken to the police station, but was soon let go. However, this video caused severe uproar on the internet. And as a result of this, the police chief resigned just three months later. Well, these cops turned out to be tyrants, but the actions of the next officers will leave you shocked. Lift up your shirt and turn around. Walk back. I am livid. You know what? No, I understand that. And you guys have him handcuffed. 
because he just got out of school. You're talking about a 4.2 GPA kid. On August 15th, 2022, Espana Police Department put out a BOLO or a B on the lookout for a white Toyota pickup truck that had been used by someone committing robberies in the city earlier in the day. Soon after, a New Mexico State Police officer observed a vehicle that matched the description and initiated a traffic stop of it. However, he had no idea that he was making a huge mistake. 756, suspecting that uh, robbery. 76 and 106. Hey, let me see you get out! Put your hands up! Open the door! Put your hands up! Walk back! No, hey, no! Open, let me see your hands! Walk out! Walk out! Walk back! Let me lift up your shirt! Turn around! Lift up your shirt and turn around! Walk back! Turn around, walk back! Walk, walk, keep on walking back, keep on walking back, keep on walking back, keep on walking back, keep on walking back. Get on your knees, get on your knees. Hands on your head. Stay right there, keep your hand on your head. Back this way. The person sitting inside the truck was not the suspect they were looking for. In fact, he was a 17-year-old high school student, Adam Pacheco, who had been mistaken as the suspect. You were in school the whole time? Yeah. I live here. This is my house. That's, that's the same truck? Same, that's same, same truck, bro. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Who is this? Who is this truck re registered to? This is my truck. This is my dad's. Your dad's? His name's Adam Pacheco. Okay, who's Lisa? Lisa. That's my stepmom. Where is she at? She's at home. Where? Uh, no, uh, what's it called? That's the, that's the movie theater. La Mesilla? Yeah, La Mesilla. No, that's where the mom is. Which is Lisa, right? Adam was visibly confused and shocked to see loaded fire pointed at him. He had no clue what had happened, as the useless officers had mistaken his truck for the one used for the police. They proceeded to make him sit in the back of the police cruiser as they continued their investigation. I said, man, you're, you're under arrest, brother. Just, just have a seat. You want to call your mom? What do you want to do? You want to call your mom? Call your mom? Where's your phone at? It dropped, I think. I think it left you in your room. No, it dropped. Oh, it dropped right here? I think it dropped now. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey, I'll go get it. And then we'll call your mom again. That's it, No, no, but I don't know if it's like the actual truck we saw. I don't jump in. You know my mom's Huh? Yes. I know, that's what I'm saying. There's no way. That truck's there's no way to be so hard. Yeah, to both of them? No, it's just under here. It's just here? You got nothing on, no weapons? No. I'm gonna take off the handcuffs, sir. Hi. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, I don't know. So, I, there's some cops here at the house. And I, I tried to pull into the house and I got pulled over. And then, I don't know. The teenager soon called his mom, who was furious at the police officers for this misconduct. This was extremely unprofessional and embarrassing for the cops. Right now, um, so the truck that you're driving uh, matches the description of uh, an armed robbery that took place in the city today. Okay. Well, like I said, it, it just matches the description, so uh, we're just so he's on he's under arrest, but the police the police department wants to talk to him. Okay, he's a minor. You will not have to do without him. That's that's fine. I, like I said, we're just we're just holding him for Espinal Police Department to get here. Just outside, just outside the house. Uh, we're, on, we're on, at the intersection of 106 and 76. Okay, so that happened today? Okay, that's fine. What's up? That happened today? Yeah. Where was that? So in the city, but your truck was like uh, is given. Yeah. Uh, it was. So yeah, I understand that, man. 
The officers tried to explain the situation to the concerned mother, but she couldn't think of anything else but to take her anger out on the cop. Hello? I'm talking. Oh, sorry, ma'am, I couldn't hear you. So I guess there was a confusion, but this was a truck that we were given out to uh, look out for. I am livid. You know what? No, I understand that. And you guys have him fucking handcuffed. He just got out of school. You're talking about a 4.2 GPA kid. I that understand, ma'am, but that's the information that we're given, you know? So that's 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 why we well, pulled him over. Your information before. Yes, ma'am, uh, but that's the information that we were I given. I need your name, and I need, I need your badge number. Okay, Officer Rodriguez. And what is your badge number? 70135 oh, now. 135? Yes, ma'am. You will be hearing from my attorney. This okay. Is that's fine, ma'am. You, you literally detained him and put him in handcuffs. He's a fucking minor. No, I understand, but at the time we don't know that, so that's why we were that's what we were rolling for. What are you doing with him now? I so he's gonna get released. He's gonna go home. This is fucking ridiculous. You yes, ma'am. Hearing from my attorney. Okay, that's fine. What is your What is your matter? Is this Espanola PD or who the hell are you? So Espanola PD is the one that received the call and they're the ones that put out the bolo for the vehicle. Uh, this is state police. This is ridiculous. And not, not, nothing in your right mind that he's a fucking minor? No, ma'am. Well, we don't know. We don't know because the vehicle is not registered to him. It's registered to you, right? The corrupt cops were still not accepting their mistake as they kept giving lame excuses for the arrest. However, finally, the boy's mother arrived at the scene and the cops let him go. Give me your supervisor's name. Okay, so it's Lieut know. Lieutenant Casales? I will call him because apparently you're an idiot. Okay. No, 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 go, go, ahead. go ahead, ma'am. That's fine. There you go. What's up? You're good to go, bro. Yeah, yeah. No worries. She's just freaked out. I was freaked out. No, that's fine, man. Is that her? No, that's my Nina. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. So you're good to go? Yeah, you're good to go, man. So I can take the truck? Yeah, you can take the truck. Oh, sorry, babe. Are you okay? Yeah. Uh, no. What's going on? No, so we were given information that this uh, vehicle was possibly used in an armed robbery earlier in the day. So that's why we pulled it over. Is this what was but, going on by McCurdy? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. So that's why we pulled it over. But once we realized it wasn't, I mean, it's not him, so he's he's good to go. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Here, All right. Yeah, so that, that's that's all. Thankfully, nothing went seriously wrong for the young boy, and he was safe. However, soon after this traffic stop, he filed a civil rights lawsuit against the officers, the police department, and the city. The lawsuit is still ongoing, and we hope that Pacheco gets the compensation he richly deserves. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. Today, we saw cases where corrupt cops were exposed and got instant karma. This serves as a reminder that even police officers are accountable and should never consider themselves above the law. We hope all the victims receive the compensation and justice they deserve after being wronged by these tyrants, and that the offending officers are removed from their positions. If you agree with me, please consider showing your support by liking this video, and make sure to subscribe to stay informed about future cases like these. Also, if you enjoyed this video, check out the next video here.